Hi everyone, this is Sharon. Today I am bringing you a guest design team project I completed for Christy at Everlasting Journals. I was so excited when she asked me to do a design team project for her because I absolutely love every single one of her digital kits and I couldn't wait to uh, dig into those and make a journal completely from her kits. So if we just take a look at the front cover, I've got this old book cover that I used and for the tie I've got some sari silk ribbon and then I just have a couple of dangles on here and I believe these are from a wall sconce that I had at one time. So if we pull the ribbon off, we can take a look at the cover a little more closely. So here on the front, I just uh, took a digital image and glued that to that little square just to make the front a little more appealing. And then I added a piece of lace around the spine as well. I really love this spine and I like the title of this book. It's called A Gallery of Women. And I feel like I put a gallery of women in here with a lot of Christie's Digitals. So, um, I also like, how would I describe this color? It's kind of like a deep um, mauve green color. It's got a little bit of a purple to it. Um, I love it when an old book spine fades to a different color than the cover. This is kind of a goldeny brown color. I just love the way that turned out. If we head on inside, um, I think I can say with pretty much certainty that 100% of the digitals in here are Christie's with the exception of a few Roxy Creations labels that I sprinkled in throughout. Um, Christy has 27 digital kits in her Etsy shop and I'll put a link to her shop below. Um, and I think I used most of those. It was really hard to pick and choose images because I just wanted to use all of them. So for the inside covers, I use this beautiful image. It's from her kit number 12. And then this is the other portion of that on the back side. And then this first page is on some handmade paper. It's got some texture to it. You'll see a lot of pretty florals in here and patterns. She has a lot of tapestry type images too. Here I made a side tuck with one of those and then here's another tapestry image. And then in there I tucked this vintage postcard and I just stapled on some little pieces of fabric. This is embossed. This page is an onion skin letter from the early 1900s. And I folded that up to create a pocket on this side. I added a digital image on the pocket and some velvet ribbon to just kind of trim that up a little bit. And then in this pocket, I made a tag. And then I used some coffee dyed paper here to make this pocket. And I did a little stamping and just added these little scrap pieces of paper in there. I always like to do these long, thin ones if you want to write just a little quote or a verse or a thought or something on those. And then on this page, I just added this um, embroidered, I think it's a, an embroidered hanky. Just stapled that on. In the center of the signature, I took some antique lace to make these bands. And then in those, I tucked some journaling cards that I made. Here I just added some decorative stitching with a piece of fabric. And then I tucked in each one of these um, some antique wallpaper. And I just did a little bit of stencil paste embossing on there or stenciling. And then on the insides, I added this panel of a treated napkin, and then there's some journaling space inside. And then I have to remember to show you the pages behind because there's lots of pretty ones. Okay, and this is the other journaling card, the inside of that one. Here 
here I have this image of the woman and then I just added some uh, like upholstery trim at the bottom and then over on this side in the pocket I've got this tag I use this old French ticking on the top for the ribbon here I absolutely love this fabric and I just took a snippet of that and created a top tuck on there and then again you can see this upholstery or um, like a sort of a tapestry fabric and then I just have this embossed gold paper for the tab and then in that tuck I've got this um, old French invoice from 1869 one of those beautiful ones my invoices don't look like that the ones I get today <laughs> beautiful page and then I didn't really talk about that at the beginning but I've got a piece of antique French fabric that I used for the spine so you can kind of see that peeking through a little bit in between the signatures then on the top of this page I've got some old um, music paper and on there I've got this trifold so I just added a couple of eyelets on the top and strung that up and then this is one of her images and then I've got some straw paper that I stenciled an old map some ledger paper and then one of her embroidery images and I just stamped along the bottom of that here I created a side tuck and used some gold ink and stamped that and then inside that tuck I've got this is um, a wax treated piece of paper one of the images and then I've got some pages from a vintage cookbook the other part of that image and then I've got a pocket in here and that also has some um, stenciling with paste I'll just stick that in there Here on this page, I embellished the top with some old fabric, did some decorative stitching on there, and then added this gold ribbon on there. And like I said, there are, I've got quite a few women uh, from Christie's kits that I've incorporated. Here I took a piece of old fabric and created this pocket, and that's what the back looks like. And then I've got this French postcard from 1915 it looks like and then I've got a Edith Holden book page in here as well here I've got for the page um, a page from a book a French book that I have and then I've got some side tucks that I punched I'll take this clip off so you can see the inside and then in there I created this little journaling spot got some old ledger paper in here from 1876 and then this is what the back looks like and then on this side I've got a similar one with this invoice image and I love these flowers on the top And then on the strings for the signature, I just added a couple of vintage stamps. Over here, I created a corner tuck with this, uh, I don't know, it looks like an old um, cabinet card image. And then in there, I've got some antique and vintage pieces of ephemera. This is uh, an ad from an 1800s newspaper for my hometown some writing room on the back and then this is just an advertising piece from a looks like a French book and then in the top corner I've got more of that embroidered hanky a piece of that and some sari trim on there on this page I just added another little piece of trim on there and then on this side got another flip with the 
pocket inside. Um, and then in there, I created this, um, it's an envelope, a window envelope. I turned it inside out because I like the pattern and color on the inside. I coffee dyed it just to give it more of a vintage look. Added a little bit of trim to the outside. And then I created this little clasp. Did some stamping there. And then on the inside, I just have this little journaling sheet and stuck a little tag inside there. I love this. I really seem to be attracted to browns and blues, and I love the colors in there, and I just added a little piece of lace to embellish that page. And then over here, another thing I like about Christie's kits is she incorporates some plaids, and I just love plaids. So here I used one of the images for a side tuck, and then this floral image on the back, and then I've got this little, it's kind of like a little sampler piece. Um, I've got some embossed book page there, and then inside I've just got old French fabric, some lace, some wallpaper samples, um, more lace, this is wallpaper. And then there's some secret journaling space underneath. This is what the image looks like on the back. This is a page from a moth book that I have. And then on this side, I just clipped a few pieces of ephemera. This um, card from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And then just some off cuts of old book pages. In the center of this signature, I added these um, linen pockets. They might even be hemp, I don't know, they're really heavy. I'm sure it's something I got from Rachel at Rexy Creations. And I just added a little bit of slow stitching, so I've got some running stitches in here. And then you can see I ran them over the top of a piece of old antique lace. And then I just did a little eye on the birds. So this one has an eye too, um, the French knot, and then Here's some more running stitches with another piece of lace embedded in there. You can't see that too well, but it's just really faint. And this is one of my favorite images in the background. I just absolutely love that piece and the colors in it. And then in each of those pockets, I've got some journaling cards that flip open. And the base of these cards were actually some old stock certificates. And I just did some collaging over the top of those. Again, added some vintage stamps. Here's another beautiful image of this woman. What I did just to embellish it a little bit is I took, I've got this gold pen that's got gold um, paint in it, and I just hit the little dots on her head just to give them a little bit of sparkle and shine and then I've got this piece of mesh up here with a wax seal and then here I created this top tuck with this beautiful image from one of Christie's kits and then I've got this little piece that can be used for journaling and an old book page and I just stamped the bottom of that and it makes a nice little holder for this journaling piece Here I add a little bit of metallic paper on there. And then this is an old um, page from a French workbook, kind of like a ledger book. And then I just did some stenciling on there, this time not with paste, but with some acrylic paint. Just gives it a little bit different look than the texture paste. And then in there, I created this little booklet um, where I just attached a piece of lace around the back can get it open. <laughs> um, it's kind of like a little sampler book, I guess you could say. I have this image on this side. I've backed it with an old, um, I've got this uh, really neat book. It's like an old catalog, pricing catalog. And I love using that because it's got some really neat fonts in it. So I just put this image over the top and then 
a stamped piece there. And then I took some old um, fabric pieces that I have. This is French. I'm not sure about this one. It's like a um, ticking. And then this is also French. This is from Jacqueline at Souvenir de la France. And then these bases underneath these white squares are actually from the same digital as this. And I just cut them apart to use underneath. And then I've got some little surprises under there that I stamped on. And then I just made, uh, added some sample labels. Here I took a vintage envelope to use for my page. I just love how a lot of those insides are on the old envelopes. And I just did a little simple stamping on there. And then on this page, I've added, um, this is a like a metal filigree piece, just glued on. And then I created this fabric tab and attached it with some decorative stitching. And that goes around to this side. And then I added some more of that um, embroidered hanky on there. I love that. It's almost gone, but I used a lot of it in here because it's just got some really subtle gray and blue tones in it. Over here, I took some old um, vintage wallpaper, created this pocket, and added a little um, button on there. And then, okay, this is one that is not Christy. <laughs> As you know, if you watch me, I love using the buttons from um, Love Junk Journal, so that's what that is. And then I've got these two tags. Love the colors. Now this background, like turquoisey color, that's the digital. And then these pink flowers are actually a sticker I put over the top. And then on this one, I added a fabric tab at the top. And then this is the original title page from the book and the table of contents. I always like to incorporate those if I can. And then I should mention the page behind it is an old 1700s uh, French uh, antique book page. I just added a little embellishment up there. And then in this pocket, this is, um, I line this little flap with one of the digitals. And then again, I absolutely love the color in this. It's, I don't know, like a deep aubergine, kind of a deep plum color. And then it's got the beautiful flowers on there. My dining room actually three quarters of the way up of my wall is this color. And then I've got this beige color similar to this on the top third with uh, a wallpaper border in between. I just love that color. And then on the back, I have this pocket on the side. And then in there I've got some journaling cards and I backed them with this Again, this embroidery image from Christy, and I think it's light enough that you could write on there. Here I created a pocket, and then in there I've got this waxed piece of paper, and then an antique postcard with this beautiful image and this is dated 1905. Here again I created a side tuck with this beautiful kind of like a tapestry fabric. On this page I've got just this little mesh piece to kind of adorn this lady and then this is the other side of that envelope and I just did a little stamp across the top. And then on this side, I added this picture. And then on this side tuck, I've got a couple of items. Um, this is, I just wrapped it up with this piece of dictionary page. And um, it's like a trifold. So it opens up this and this. I've got this dictionary page on the back side. And then on this side, this is one of her digitals, as well as this. And then I also just tucked in there an old book page, French book page. On this page, I added a little cluster at the top with 
This paper is some paper that I pulled out of an old um, steamer trunk. And then I've got some book spine and a little lacy flower. This is a page from a French embroidery book that I have. Then here I created a pocket with this beautiful piece of old lace. And in there, I've got this ephemera piece. It's a beautiful envelope. It's got this kind of um, scalloped edge. And this is a French piece. A picture of this family. And then this calling card. I think it says something about best regards for your success or something like that. <laughs> My French is not good. And then also in that pocket, I created this little, um, it's not glassine, I used vellum, but it feels a little bit like glassine. It's a little see-through. So I used one of um, Christie's images on the front and the back, and then added some old tape and some Amity Blue washi tape. And then on the inside, I just tucked a couple of pieces in there. I had this old French book page, so I just attached one of these pretty images on there. And then I made this card. I've got a wax seal on there, the back side. In this top tuck, I've got an old book page, a French book page, and then I created this little um, trifold item. I hinged it with this ticking. I love the green and the blue on this image. And this is the inside. So I lined the sides with piano paper and the center with um, coffee dyed paper. And then this is one of Christie's images. Another prim and proper woman. Here I've got this old tapestry um, piece and I just created a little pocket with that or a little belly band, I guess. And then in there I created this journaling card. This is actually um, like a book page image. And then I just took some cotton fabric and lined the side of that. And then have this image on the back. This is a page from an old French, um, like a garden catalog type book. It's actually a book, but it's all on botanicals. And then, so I've got pockets on each side. And then in the center, I've got this embossed paper piece. And I just closed that up on the sides to create this little insert or pocket. And in there, I've got one of these stereo cards. This is of the Alps. And then in each of these pockets, I've got a tag. I just added a little button on the bottom. And then this is the other part. Both of these tag fronts are from the same digital sheet and I just cut it in half. Here I took um, some of that um, plaid paper image and then I just created this little tuck on the bottom. And then I embossed some velvet to use as the belly band in the center. And then it's got this beautiful green image on the back side. And in there I tucked this old piece of ephemera. It's French from 1894. And then I also created this little piece. Did some embossing in there. There's lots of room to write on the back side. On this side of the page, I took um, one of Christie's images of a thing, I think it was a mirror or something like that. And I just fussy cut around that to create this pocket. And then in there, I've got this full calling card that I made. It's got this little piece of silk on the back. And then on this side, I've got a top tuck, with some decorative stitching again. And then this is what the back side of that page looks like. And I just embossed this frame image on this old book page, added some fabric to the bottom, 
kind of like a little mini ruffle. And then this old book page I put in there as well. Here's a beautiful floral image. And then on this side, I've got a little shallow pocket at the bottom and I've covered it with a piece of a, a paper doily, some fabric, some cheesecloth, and a little full button. And then in that pocket, I've got this tay. I love this image of the boy and his dog. I think that's really pretty. I just added a little bit of sole stitching across the side and some trim and other little items on the front. And then I used one of my fabric yo-yos. And then this is the back side. And on this page, I just did a little bit of collaging with some of the images. And that brings us to the back cover. So this journal is not for sale. It's actually going off as a surprise to one of my viewers. So I hope she loves it. <laughs> um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed that flip through. And until next time, bye-bye.